Alex Jamison here with more tips and tricks to fuel your body and your soul. I have another reader question here from Angie that I want to share with you. So Angie writes, my biggest health issue is yeast overgrowth. I'm on a heavy duty prescription medication for it and I know it's caused by sugar and carb addiction. Oy, it is such a struggle for me to see progress but then I eat sugar or bread again and I'm in the same boat. Please help. Well, Angie, I totally feel your pain. I've been there and I've helped a lot of people deal with this before. So here's how you get rid of yeast in your body. Yeast thrives on sugar. That's just the bottom line. So you have to remove all added sugars from your diet. This includes not just white sugar, but maple syrup, agave, honey, any fruit sugars, any fruit, also alcohol and dairy. And most people have to remove grains for a while as well. So you have to move to a diet that's really based on healthy, lean and clean proteins. So if you do animal protein, then you want to stick with those high omega-3 oils like the good quality wild caught salmon. Um, you can do naturally raised grass fed beef or organic chicken. You want to make sure that you aren't taking in any toxins through your animal protein because that can destroy your already hurt digestive system. If you don't do animal protein, you want to stick with the highest quality, least carbohydrate proteins. So that would be tofu, tempeh, but you can't do too much tempeh because it is fermented and you need to stay away from some of those fermented foods while you're getting a handle on the yeast overgrowth. So high protein, non starchy veggies. Those are your friends. You got to stay away from the fruit. You also have to stay away from beets and carrots and those high sugar vegetables. But in the meanwhile, you can add some really powerful supplements. You can try oil of oregano, which you can get at almost any health food store and you can take as a supplement. And I would take double doses of probiotics. I would take double what's recommended on your probiotic bottle in the morning before breakfast and again at night before bed. You really want to replenish your whole system and supercharge your digestive system with all of those healthy probiotics to crowd out the yeasts. So give this diet at least a month to really work. Try the oregano oil and the probiotics. I hope this helps. And if you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your family and friends. Good luck.